What's going on, YouTube community? It's your boy, Wife Jim Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And in this video, I'm just going to give you my predictions of the AFC Divisional Round matchups. Now, first, we're going to start off with the Kansas City Chiefs at the New England Patriots. Now, this should be a great game. Um, both teams, they have a bunch of injuries. Uh, Tom Brady, Rob Gunkowski, Rob Ninkovich, um, Julian Edelman, and I think, I can't remember, I think it's somebody else. Um, but as far as the Kansas City Chiefs, um, you know, we got Justin Houston, who didn't really look too good. You got T Tamba uh, Holly, Haley, who's battling the thumb injury. Then we have, um, of course, the main one, Jeremy Macklin, who had that gruesome, you know, ankle injury. That's one of the main factors of their offense. He's one of their main pieces. So it's going to be interesting to see how he's able to perform or if he's even going to play. I'm pretty sure he will, but it's just how much will he be able to give to the team with that type of injury because he's a speedster, you know, it's a lot of cutting, you know. So, you know, he's going to need his ankle to be at least 90%. And then, like I said, you know, all season we've been hearing about the New England Patriots being banged up. You know, they're they're too hurt. You know, they're not probably going to win a championship. Losing this person is going to affect them. Losing Grunk, if Grunk can't be in 100% of the game, that takes away their offense. Also, LeGarrette Blunt is hurt also. I forgot about him. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, they're <coughs> – excuse me. Still kind of sick. Um, they're on an 11-game winning streak, which is great. I'm loving what I've been seeing from the Kansas City Chiefs. Alex Smith been playing some great football. Their defense has been crazy. Um, but, you know, the Patriots, they're not the Houston Texans. So I don't think that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to beat up on Tom Brady, the great Tom Brady, because at the end of the day, you still have Tom Brady on that field. You still have to try to stop this man, Tom Brady. You know, it's hard to do, but they just have to try to do that. And I don't think that they will be able to do that. I think the Patriots will be focused. I think. Pretty much the Patriots might be looking like the underdogs right now, to be honest with you, because of the, all the injuries and the way that the uh, Kansas City Chiefs has been playing. So it's going to be interesting to see how they perform against Tom Brady. Now, I think the final score of this game might be 27-16, to 16, somewhere around that range. But I just think that the Patriots might just be too much when it comes to the end. And they have Bill Belichick at the end of the day. Let's just be real. Andy Reid is a great coach. Don't get it twisted. He's done a hell of a job with his squad. But I just think that the New England Patriots at home, they had extra time to rest. So I think they'll be ready to play. So, yeah, I got the New England Patriots winning this game. Now, moving on. Um, Let's see. I'm going to go to the Pittsburgh at Denver. Now, of course, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, they got the best of the Broncos a few weeks ago, a few weeks back. But it's a, it's a totally different team. The Denver Broncos, I think they're going to have to pay, they're going to start off with Peyton Manning. And Brock Osweiler, he's, he's going to be the second string quarterback. So I'm pretty sure if things go wrong, um, they're going to bring Brock Osweiler in. If Peyton Manning starts to mess up and not look too good, then I'm pretty sure that Peyton Manning, I mean, Brock Osweiler will come in. At least they know what Brock Osweiler can do. So it wouldn't be a surprise when he comes in the game because at least we know what they can do. And they still have that that, that crazy defense. Broncos has a great defense, a great defense. That's why, you know, I'm leaning towards picking the Denver Broncos. And plus, on top of that, um, Big Ben Roethlisberger, he's hurt. Um, he tore a ligament in his shoulder. So don't know how he's going to be able to perform. He was barely able to throw it downfield against the Bengals, just that 10-yard play to Antonio Brown before Antonio Brown took that hit. He could barely throw it. He told the coach, don't make me do another play like that. So I don't know, man. I just don't think that um, he, you know, Big Ben is going to be able to carry this team. And Antonio Brown, of course, he's coming off concussion. I'm pretty sure he's going to play, but we don't know if he's going to be 100%, you know. So, I just, I don't know, man. I'm just going to, this is Denver Broncos game to lose. They should win this game. Steelers defense looked nice against the Bengals. Looked nice. But, you know, Broncos defense is great. They're going to come at Big Ben Roethlisberger, especially since they know he's, you know, he's banged up. So they're going to try to bang him up. They're going to try to hit him, put a lot of pressure on him. Um, even though sometimes Big Ben, he's great under pressure, but they're going to come after him. Those boys are going to come after him. And I just think, you know, I think the defense is what's going to help them win the game. 
You know, I don't think Peyton Manning is going to do too much. And like I said, if he plays bad, I'm pretty sure Gary Kubiak, he's going to get take him out of the game and put in Brock Osweiler. That's if he struggles early, um, Peyton Manning. Um, but either way, like I said, I think they're just – the defense is just – they're going to stack the box. Uh, they're going to make Ben Roethlisberger probably throw deep or, you know, try to force him to throw the ball deep. And they're going to contain the running game. And um, – I just don't expect a lot of points in this game, so I'm going to rope the Broncos probably 21-14. I'm just going to go that route, Denver Broncos, you know. Um, but I would not be surprised if the Steelers win, but I just think that the, the odds are so against the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially with Big Ben being hurt, even though he's played through injuries before. But, man, I don't know if he is going to be able to do it this time. And I'm just thinking about that Broncos defense. And all they got to do is add a little bit of offense in there, and they should be able to get the job done. So, guys, those are my AFC Division Round picks. You guys tell me who do you have winning these winning these two games, and I'm going to make my NFC Division Round picks. Make sure you comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those social media sites, and I'm out. Deuces.